guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry that I didn't post a video last week. I didn't post a blog either. You know, the holidays really grabbed me and I just completely slacked because this is the second time within a month that I missed a Friday video and a Friday blog. I think I need to take some lessons from Lindsay on like pre-filming because she's real good at that. So, today's video is going to be um, like what I, goals for 2018 I think is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, Goals for my reading, goals for my bookshelves, goals for my channel, and all around goals for 2018. So without further ado, let's just jump right into them and talk about it. First off, I would like to say that I really don't think that I'm going to be doing like a set TBR. We've talked about this before, and we'll probably talk about it again, but I am a huge mood reader. So, I think it was November that I set myself a TBR, or was it October? I think it was November of last year, now look at us. Um, I set a TBR, and I pretty much stuck to that TBR. I think I added one book and then like didn't finish another or something like that. So it all balanced out in the end. And I shriveled up inside a little when I did that just because I made the dumb decision to start series, but I didn't put the rest of the series on that TBR. So, I was like, I have the rest of the series, but I can't read it because I have to read these other books. And I put that pressure on myself, and it was dumb. So, I don't think that I'm going to give myself a set TBR. That being said, there is a challenge going around right now at the beginning of the year. I don't know if they did it last year since I wasn't on Bookstagram and I wasn't on Booktube, so I couldn't tell you left or right. But there is an, it's called Unread Shelves Challenge 2018. So what this is generally, I'm not going to go into the full details of it because everybody does it a little different and I don't know how I'm even going to stick to it, but what you do roughly, is you count the books that you have not read on your shelves and you read those throughout the years, uh, year, just one year, just one year. Um, so a couple days ago, I actually decided, I was talking to a friend of mine on Instagram and I decided to count how many books that I haven't read. And my answer was a whopping 91 at the time. Um, I have gotten a few books since then, so I do have to add those to my numbers. And I did not add my love-inspired historical books, my non-fiction books, nor my classics. Um, I focused specifically on my big novels, um, normal-sized novels, Christian fiction, nonetheless. That is what I focused on, and I had 91 and my Goodreads challenge for myself this year is 100. Um, I set a goal in November when I had really started getting into Goodreads. I've had an account for a couple years but didn't really use it until this year when I started all this wonderful stuff. And I set it for 10, I believe, just because I wasn't sure how the holidays we're gonna go and family and things like that and I only have like a month left in the year because I set it mid to end November I believe and I ended up reading 
like 16 I think I read 16 books within that time yes it's kind of low but again holidays yada 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 whatever so I decided for the beginning of the year I would set a whopping number of 100 to see if I can get to it if I don't I'm not gonna be mad at myself again I'm a mood reader so if I get to a point throughout the year I'm just like Beh, then I'm gonna be okay with myself I just wanted to see if I can reach it, achieve the goal. Never done it before that I know of. So we'll see. That being said, I could read all of my unread books, my, all of my Christian fiction books, and still have a couple books to pick up. So I'm thinking of trying to generally stick to my shelves and my unread books before I go and buy new ones. That is the plan. Hold me to that because I have a really big problem. Um, I buy a lot of books and like I just want to keep buying books. Yeah, maybe don't hold me to the whole 91 only read my shelves kind of thing. I'm not putting myself on a book ban, so there's that. Um, I will continue to buy books. I will continue to add to my shelves because it is a favorite pastime of mine. And my only pastime. I have no life. Somebody send me a friend, please. Please. The goal for my reading and my bookshelves is to just add to it and enjoy what I read. I'm going to try not to put too much pressure on myself um, accepting a ton of review books. Um, I have right now, I'm okay with that. I still have a couple that I need to catch up on. Oh, I hate being behind. I hate being behind. I hate being behind. I hate when my schedule doesn't work out. I scheduled it all together and it didn't work out and now I'm a little bit behind. But, I have dwindled it down and I only have a couple of review books left to do. I am currently reading my last one for the publishing house and then I have two more that a wonderful author sent me and she has been so gracious with me. I've kept in contact with her and it's fabulous. So, I will get to it. I will take care of it. I will get my deadlines done. But, I'm not going to overwhelm myself with a ton of review books because I really do want to read for pleasure and I really do want to enjoy what I read and be able to pick the content that I read and have a good year of reading. So overall my goal for reading this year is to just relax and let it be fun and fast and I can read a ton of books. I'm so stinking excited. Another goal that I have for the year is for my blog. I am really hoping that I can do more with it, branch out, and maybe reach more authors. That would be wonderful for me, but again, I'm not going to pressure myself nor anyone else, um, but I would like to get my blog out there, my channel out there. I would like to start getting my name out there so that I can reach more people. And books can reach more eyes, more eyeballs, and more ear holes, and all the things. And I can influence other people with good, wholesome Christian content. And that is all this has ever been about, all my blog has ever been about. It was never about getting big, because I know of some people who just start it hoping that their name can get big and they can get free books. That's not what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it because I want people to know that there's good content out there and there's Christian content and there's romance that's clean and not gross and there's fantasy and there's dystopian that isn't all filled with darkness and these books aren't going to weigh you down. Instead, they're going to lift you up and give you encouragement. And I want everybody to know that there's content like this out there. So that is what this is for. I'm 
hoping whoever watches, whoever reads, is touched. And they tell a friend, and then their friend tells a friend, and then that friend tells a friend. And word of mouth is just a fabulous thing. So I'm going to be praying for my blog and for my YouTube account and even for my Instagram account that I reach the right people and I take in the correct content and read the right content so that I can tell other people about this content. Does that make sense? Because it makes sense up here, but I have a feeling that what is going on up here is not coming out of here correctly. So, regardless of that, one of my 2018 goals is going to be to try and get more blogs up, more videos up, more posts on Instagram up. I just want to be more involved in the bookish community and I want people to know about these wonderful authors because, like I said, they're wonderful. Another goal for my reading is going to be nonfiction this year. Um, so I reached out to a lady in my church to ask if she would be interested in doing a Bible study type thing, just the two of us. And we would focus on books about ladies and women and just learning to be yourself. And I think it's a vital, vital lesson that anybody from any age needs to learn. That they are a daughter of the king and their identity is that. And they're, the world is trying to tear women and men down daily and especially Christians. So I feel like this will be good for both of us, but especially me as a teen, um, almost an adult, wow, that's weird to say. Soon, I won't be a teenager anymore and I'll actually have to face the terrible reality that the world is real and the world stinks. So I feel like starting now will be good for both of us and I'm praying over this. I really believe that this is going to be good and I'm even praying that it opens doors for other young women in my community and it opens doors for other young women in churches around me. Um, I think that this could be good and I feel like more people and more places and churches should focus on stuff like this. And it's something that I'm going to be praying over. It's something that I've prayed over and I think is right, at least for right now, just the two of us. And if God decides to expand those doors, Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. So I think I covered all the bases. I want to just enjoy life, enjoy reading, uh, draw closer to God every single day, and walk closer with Him, and get content out there that is good and clean and happy and Christ-filled. And I think that might be it. <laughs> I honestly cannot think of anything else. I hope this video made some kind of sense to somebody because it made some sense to me. I hope again words translated correctly. And I would love to know what some of your 2018 goals are and what are you reading right now? I would love, love to know. I'd love to chat with you down in the comments below. I'm also active on my Instagram account, so I would love to DM me, talk to me, shoot me a comment. It's for the love of Christian fiction, and my blog is for the love of Christian fiction.blogspot.com, where I post, or at least try to post every Friday. And my Goodreads, if you'd like to follow me, is linked down in the description, as are all the other things. And real fast, thank you, Lindsay, for pointing out on my last video that my links have been wrong or not connecting properly. I don't even know what happened because they were working when I first started. So hopefully they are all working and all in order. I did fix them. So thank you for that. 
And I think that is it for today's video. I think. <laughs> I'm just going to end it because it might be smart too. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye!